What is up guys, Zig here from Overland Nomad and on this rather kind of cold morning, I'm starting a new series on the channel that I've been wanting to do for a while. Uh, hope you guys enjoy, stay tuned. With this new series, we'll be going over two things I really love, is the outdoors and history. I'm combining both of these with adventure and sometimes camping. This is the road? Yeah. <laughs> 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 you wanna do it or what? In this first episode, we will be exploring a town that once was American, but given to Mexico in the 1970s. A town that once was north of the river and ended up strangely south of it. All right, guys. So today it is Saturday. The let's see, what day is it? This is the fifth, September fifth, twenty twenty. And uh, for some strange reason, it went from being hot to raining, and it's now kind of chilly. Uh, I'm out here with Victor, and we're in his uh, Range Rover uh, Classic, and we're out here to go to this. This town, like I said, that used to be American, but now it's, it's a Mexican town. It's a really weird story. We're basically trying to find out how to get as close to the border as possible without getting in trouble. So that little road that you saw is a county road, but it's super muddy, and someone over here is too scared to take a vehicle through it. She's, she's, she's too virgin for that. You see, I should have brought my land currency. So we're trying to get to as close to the river as possible, and, uh, the, there's a gate over there. It's like a dead end. And let's see what this uh, sign over here says. This is supposed to be a public road. Hey, there's a river. It's right here. That's Mexico then? Yeah. You want to stop right here? Yeah, we can stop right here. All right, guys. Well, here's the river. This shows on Google Maps as a public road. Uh, Rico Road. <clears throat> So I think this would be the perfect place to fly the drone. We can show you guys uh, Rio Rico, Tamaulipas, or what it was before, Rio Rico, Texas. The town of Rio Rico was originally located north of the Rio Grande on a narrow piece of land surrounded by an S-shaped curb in the river. In July 1906, the American Rio Grande Land and Irrigation Company constructed a cutoff to force the river into a straighter channel from fear that the S-shaped curb would cause flooding and damage to their land. As a result, the 413 acres on which Rio Rico was situated came to be located south of the river. After the piece of land moved down south, Rio Rico was born. The small town entertained people from the US during the Prohibition era of the 1920s. When alcohol was outlawed in the United States, people would cross over through a suspension bridge that was built to the town. It allowed visitors to a recreational center of gambling and drinking rumors of connections to organized crime leaders like Al Capone. So the international boundary between Mexico and the United States here in Texas, it is divided by the Rio Grande River, which if you think about the river, the middle of the river, there's an imaginary line and that would be the boundary between the two countries. Um, so when they wrote all these laws and rules back in the 1800s, they basically said, that if the river were to shift in any way, that land that it takes will be belong to that country. So if the river were to bend and shift downward, which rivers do that, then that property and the riverbed and all that will become the US. Um, but it doesn't mean that you can start tearing up the river and uh, moving it yourself. That doesn't qualify. And that's kind of what happened in, in the early 1900s. Well, it doesn't say anything, technically. Yeah, it's a restricted area. You can see over there there's a sign and... Oh, you have a little frog. It's a big wall. Actually, this wall was the one built uh, during, I think, the Bush administration. All right, guys, uh, if you play around near the border, this will be happening, okay? It's happened to me before. Uh, you will get pulled over. We're not doing anything illegal, obviously. We're just exploring. But, you know, be cautious that Border Patrol is probably gonna be is looking that at border you. Patrol or is it? Yeah, that's Border Patrol. Yeah, it's part of the Border Patrol. All right, yeah. uh, just be careful. You yeah. know, right now there's a 
you know, illegal activity plus the weather and sure. stuff like that. So just be careful, all right? In the case of Rio Rico, this whole piece of land was moved illegally. Decades went by and the United States forgot about this land. Mexico went ahead and started treating it like its own. Fast forward to the 1960s when an American professor discovered the problem and brought it to the United States government. A few years later, the US formally gave the land back to Mexico, officially making Rio Rico a Mexican town. There was another legal problem though. The same year the US gave Rio Rico back to Mexico, a Rio Rico resident sued the US, claiming that the US could not get him deported from the US to Mexico because he was born in Rio Rico. After all, it was an American town all those decades. It took about eight years for the US court system to agree that the resident was indeed American and granted him and about 200 residents of Rio Rico US citizenship. Um, crazy story about Rio Rico, a town that was supposed to be on our side, but is not anymore. Crazy, crazy stuff. Uh, thanks for watching this series. Uh, this series I'll be doing on the channel will be called Texas Backroads. And uh, I'm gonna be doing the video starting here from the valley and then pushing north of Texas. And if, if you guys really like them, then I'll just keep doing them. Uh, I already know I have some plans for the next videos. Um, this is something I've, like I said, I've been wanting to do for a long time. And I love driving through the back roads and you see a lot of, a lot of cool stuff and some historical stuff. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. If you, if you really like this and you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. There's a lot of uh, off-roading, camping, and uh, adventure videos on this channel. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one.